G'day and welcome, Faintly Sandly here, and this is the demo for Spellbound Shuffle. This is a roguelike deck builder, which if you know me, those two keywords mean it's an instant look for me. Um, but this one is a bit of a twist. It's got a turn-based sort of grid combat system as well. Let's just jump in and take a look. And remember, if you're interested in this game, the link will always be in the description to the Steam page so you can check it out for yourself and wishlist the full game when that's due for release. The release date is sometime this year. I don't think there's any specific day or month or season at this stage. So when we start, we can see there's a few tiles coming soon, but we do have one hero to choose, and that's the Archer. And you'll see he's got a few different starting statistics there, which we will uh, get into once we get into the game, I'm sure. So I've given this a little, quick little look, just to get a basic understanding of what the game's like, and I thought it definitely was worth looking at here today. So, pretty familiar stuff. If you've played Slay the Spire, you will notice uh, a handful of similarities. We have the first act. We have a few different paths to choose from. Not too much variety once we get on a path. But there is a few choices to be made. We have a little uh, artifact, I suppose, up here, which is the quiver, which has the secondary resource of arrows. And some cards tied to my hero, which is the archer, use arrows instead of energy. We have 70 health. We have 10 cards in our deck, including shots. Um, some use energy, some use arrows, as shown here by these symbols. Shields for blocking and a trap to set as well. These all have different effects uh, as laid out in these little symbols here. So this range, line of sight, launch area and effect area. So you can launch, you know, up, down, left, right and diagonally, but it affects one square. Whereas this one launches up, down, left, and right, the cardinal directions, but it affects two squares. It also pushes back uh, one cell as well, hence the two squares. We have 50 gold. We have, oh, we're on floor one. We have the map, which is presumably what we're looking at already, and we have some settings. Let's jump in. What are our choices here? We have campfires, or fire camps, rather. An elite fight, chests, and a shop. So I could trade a campfire for a shop. Oh, I'm just going to go the middle path, I think. Choose a starting position. So this is my hero here. Uh, how do I... Oh, I see. So you can sell on any of the highlighted green tiles. And this is our enemy, a bloom. It has 30 health but I can't see any more about it than that. Let's start here. Turn one. And again, as I was saying, the uh, Slay the Spire inspired a HUD here. So this takes one arrow. I don't have any arrows currently. How do I get arrows? I have two oh, movement points, so I can... Ah, oh, okay, so you can move your hero around as well during your turn. And three energy to play cards. So what I could do is I could move here. I oh, know you're out of range. Move here. Shoot you with that arrow. Shoot you with that arrow. Ah, oh, arrow trap. On trigger, deal four damage and gain one arrow. Or I can block for five. Oh, you're going to do six damage. How's that going to work? I think I'm going to block. Right, so it's a ranged unit. It shot me and it ran away. Last hand. Costs zero energy, but gives me an arrow. I'll take that. Wild Gust deals eight damage and pushes one cell. I'm going to move a bit closer. I'll use that arrow in this shot. I'll use an energy for this shot. Deal 8 damage and push one cell. So 8 damage. Oh, that'll actually hit him. Okay, I'll take it. 37 gold and a card reward. 
deals six damage to X random targets, depending on how many arrows I have. Okay. Similar to Slay the Spire's X energy cards. Six damage, I've already got one of those, or two of those, maybe. Yep, two of those. Or Repulse. Whenever you receive damage, push one cell. Okay, so if an enemy hits me, I'll push them away. Sounds interesting. So does this. I don't have to be in range for this. Sounds good to me. Got this angry looking fella here. I'm gonna start... I think where I am. Gonna gain an arrow. Can't do anything, so I'm just gonna block. I'm not gonna use the mosquito shot. I wanna save those arrows. For this, I think. Oh no, it does six damage. There's probably not much difference, really, is there? Uh... Oh, this could only work. That's right, in the cardinal directions. I guess I'll just go... Shooty, shooty, shooty. Move here, and... Oh no, that's two energy. Uh, oh, wish I could undo my move. Um, doesn't look like I can. That's alright. It's got a magnet. Ah. Okay, it literally just pulls me closer. That's fine. I'll take the arrow. I will shoot, and I will shoot, and I will shoot. I'm going to set a trap right here. And I'm going to run away. Nice, trapped him. I'll finish the job. Cool, it's all pretty intuitive so far. Bit of a gold reward and a card to add to the deck. Whenever you have max arrows, a random card in your hand costs zero. What's max arrows? Okay, obviously I've got, that must be like three. I've got three energy, I must have three arrows. Whenever you use all your arrows, deal 5 damage to all enemies. Deal 15 damage with an explosive shot. I think this. Whenever you use all your arrows, so presumably that means if you've got 0 arrows, right? Hello. Target dummy. Uh, you're a bit close for comfort, but I think I'll start there just to get some shots off. What was that power card? I didn't draw it anyway. Um, yeah, maximum of three. Oh, but I didn't take that card, did I? What did I take? When you use all your arrows. Hmm, guess we'll find out about that one. Uh, what am I going to do? Is it worth using Wild Gust or just sitting a trap and running? What I might do. Oh, for some reason I thought that trap would actually stop him. Uh, I'm going to use Eco. Okay, yep, that worked. I used my last arrow, got it down to zero, did an extra five damage. Beautiful. You're going to do six damage, so I'm going to block one, and I'm going to shoot you with that. I'm going to run away. Do another six damage, so we'll block again. We'll gain an arrow. I'll use the arrow for an extra five damage. Going to block. I think I'm going to finish this here. There we go. 37 gold. Bleed shot. Deal 4 damage, plus 1 bleed. Takes damage for each cell moved. Agile block, 4 shield, draw a card. Spawns a rock. <laughs> I suppose that could be a uh, useful cover, I suppose.
lead could be good if I hit something with that and then run away. Uh, I'll try it. All experimental at this stage. It's still my first real go at it, so I'm not going to expect too many miracles. What are these? Practice dummy, target dummy, and practice dummy. So we've got a lot of health. How am I going to uh, damage these? Use eco. I will block. I will shoot. I will run. Oh, he gained strength. So did he. 25% more damage. Hmm. Last hand. Raining arrow. Does that do that to all enemies? It does. That's actually a really good power. I'm going to block and I'm going to use a wild. No, I'm going to move here and I bash him into a wall for 11 damage. There we go. Alrighty. Make you bleed. Try and run away. I, I don't know if I have the crowd control to deal with three of these things trying to get me at once. I really don't want to be stuck in the middle of them. Should we get behind him and push him in into the way? Um, I could get here. I don't want to bash you because I, I need these blocks, I think. Oh, I can't hit him. Didn't think that through. That bleed only lasted one turn. That was really not much value to me. Gain an arrow. Uh, at least I can destroy you. Where am I going to run to? Let's see if that works. It did not. Oh no, now I'm stuck. Oh wait, surely my own trap won't get me, will it? Uh, I'm going to... Focus fire on you. Get the hell out. Up. Oh, yep, okay, my own trap does get me. I think I'm done. <laughs> That's a real good... Oh, he hit me through his friend. That's cheating. Okay, we've got a roadmap here. Current version. The next version, there's 28 enemies. Stats tracking. Then new archer cards, then run saving, then localization, then meta progression, then launch. So we're very early in the roadmap for this. Seems um, punishing if you don't know what you're doing, like me. So I'll jump back in for another run. Let's have a look here. So we've got another little dragon fly, or just a fly rather. Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. Can't reach him, which is unfortunate, but I can place a trap. Which he will avoid completely. It's gonna do four damage, so I'll block that. Yeah, I feel like I was obviously doing alright when the combat was easy, but as soon as there was multiple enemies at once, that's when I started to uh, fall apart. So I need some plan to deal with that. Gain one movement. Harassing shot deals six damage, zero energy cost. A free shot always sounds good to me. Okay, we've got one of these dummies. I'll start there. Give me a little bit of range. Let's go 
take pot shots, then I'm going to shield. Can you reach me? He can. Fast hand. Harassing shot. Weak shot. Mosquito shot. Then, run straight back. Chuck a trap down. Taking five damage. But, I'll get the kill. Not going to bother with bleed shot again. I didn't really see the value in that. That's interesting. If I stop using arrows and just save them, a card will always cost zero. Or, long shot, deal two damage per distance cell. That's got a longer range. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I've got a bloom. Fine with that position. Give myself an arrow. Now, I don't have any blocks. So if I move here... I can get some shots off and then hopefully move behind cover. That seemed to work. Long shot, here we go. Beautiful. Can't reach him, so I'll just block there. Will that reach? No. Can't do anything. So hopefully he doesn't punish me for that. Eh, he does a little bit. Alright, what cards have we got here? Grueling. Apply two vulnerable and two weak to all enemies. Barrage. Deal 10 damage. Add one harassing shot to your hand. What is the point of that? Spending one energy to gain something that costs zero energy. This sounds good, but straight up 10 damage is pretty good as well. Alright, heal 15% max HP or upgrade a card. Hello again, Slay the Spire. What can we upgrade here? Barrage gets 4 more damage and a longer range. Long shot, longer range and more damage per cell. Longer range, more damage. The upgrades in this seem quite generous. As in, they, they have decent improvements to more than just one little base stat. I think barrage or long shot. I think it's going to be a barrage. Just pure damage. Here we go. Two enemies now. Might move closer to this one. That was a bad move. I grab that. I'm going to hit you with that one. I'm going to hit you with that one. I'm going to move backwards too. I'm going to hit you with that one. And turn a trap there, I suppose. Perfect. I'll take you out in one hit. Bam. Hit you with that. I've got two energy left, so I'm going to use that one and then block. Okay. It's going to do nothing, isn't it? So, move and block. Barrage is good. That's good. Won't get the kill, unfortunately. And we'll take a hit, which is also unfortunate. Now I've got weak, so I'm going to do 25% less damage. Which is annoying. 
but inconsequential in the end. All right, what have we got? Mine and kite. Teleport to the target tile, leaving a slow trap on the initial cell. Interesting. And the slow trap does four damage and applies one stop, I guess. On trigger, deal two damage per trap card in your deck. I think this is good. Mine and kite. So teleport and leave behind a trap. And a treasure chest. Here we go. Ooh, choices. Funnel. Plus one energy, but you have two fewer cards to choose. Two, two fewer cards to chose card rewards. I can see what they're taking from Slay of the Spine. They've just not set it very well. Elixir of Youth. Upon pickup, heal 20. Cursed Artifact. Plus one energy, but enemies start with one strength. I don't mind the funnel, I suppose. Ooh, a Dana. It was a tougher fly. Maybe if I start. Here, I can focus on one at a time. Ooh, mine and kite. Leave a slow trap on the initial cell, okay. Um, I'm gonna move there. I'm gonna shoot ya. I'm gonna shoot ya. I'm gonna block. I'm gonna fly away. Backwards. He just magnetized me into my own trap. That is the ultimate uh, <laughs> insult. So I'm in mobile, I can't move now. Wonderful. Lovely. I'm going to hit you with that one. Ah, oh, I'm weak. Damn it. Can I do this again? Ah, his, his move changed to respond to that. That's a bit... That makes it hard to plan, put it that way. So he's going to magnet me into my own trap again. That's interesting. Usually these games, the enemy wouldn't change their intention. Like you plan around what you can see. Mobile, so I'll just block. Hope he runs into that trap. He does. Thank you, friend. Okay. I'm going to move backwards. Going to take a long shot. Going to take a weak shot. Going to take a mosquito shot. And I'm going to block. Oh, could have done a narrow trap there. That's right. I won't take any damage here. Actually, one thing I need to check is whether you carry arrows over. I don't believe so. At the beginning of your turn, plus one arrow exhaust. Is that every turn? Is it like a power? I'll try it. I might heal. I'll heal once and upgrade once. Teleport to a target tile. Okay, that increases the range. Hmm. Maybe a better shield. A bit boring, but might be a good idea with all. Three enemies chasing me down here. I'm gonna move here. Barrage you, use that. Move here. 
Wild Gust you. Bam. Bam. There we go. One down in the first turn. There's my long shot when I need it. Chuck a block on, chuck a trap down. use that. I really want to focus on just killing one at a time. Move there, gonna fly there. Can't do that anymore, can't do that anymore. Bit of a waste. Gust and a harassing shot and a run and hide. Alright, so it's you and me now, buddy. Tends to attack for 10. Intense change if a unit moves or dies. There you go. So it is a little bit harder to plan for by design. No blocks, so I guess I'll just hide. Did not help. Maybe I can... Take a shot first. Then do that. Then run away like a coward. Then block. Mobilized. That is actually quite useful. Barrage. That was dumb. Out of range, of course. And my turn. Hopefully, he can't catch me. There we go. I'm gonna move here. And I'm going to mine and kite here. Long shot. Weak shot. Victory. Okay, that's it. So that's the demo. It's basically just one stage, basically. So interesting concepts. I like the the idea of mixing the card builder, sorry, the deck builder, with the 2D combat. I think that's a good touch. I like the grid-based combat. Uh, I do want to see some more variety in the cards. So it'll be interesting to keep playing this and see how it develops. And I'm interested to see how, you know, there's three other classes planned here, obviously, how they're different. Interesting. I think this could have some longevity to it and some value. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this one in the description so you can check that out for yourself if you're interested or you can wishlist the full games to track the development as well. And uh, if you like this and want to see more like it, I cover VR games and indie games mostly. Uh, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And if you have any game suggestions that you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.